Puff the Magic Dragon is a popular hit song made famous by the folk group Peter, Paul, and Mary. The father of the tune, Peter Yarrow, is here on campus to spread his message through the workshops of Operation Respect. Beginning 15 years ago, Operation Respect's goal is to assure students a healthy learning environment free of bullying and violence. Well, Mark Weiss, our uh, Director of Education, will give the workshops and I will sing as well as a support. But he gives the people the tools to understand how Operation Respect works. And if it's a really extensive uh, workshop, they're capable of going right into the classrooms and schools and doing that work and transforming that school. When educators laid out the curriculum for Operation Respect, the power of music was implemented to open the heart for those wanting to learn more under the program. When I heard the song, Don't Laugh at Me, I realized I had found the We Shall Overcome or Blowing in the Wind of a movement, a movement to make sure that children are given the opportunity to interrupt the cycle of hatred and, and fear that plagues societies. We're really part of a movement that started way back then. And the curriculum that was developed by educators with first uh, social responsibility is infused with music. And the music opens the heart with a lyric like this one. Don't laugh at me. Don't call me names. Don't get your pleasure from my pain. In God's eyes, we're all the same. Someday we'll all have perfect wings. Don't laugh at me. I'm fat, I'm thin, I'm short, I'm tall, I'm deaf, I'm blind. Hey, aren't we all? Yara also provided a concert for any and all that wanted to attend. Through the Operation Respect workshop and concert, Yara wanted to leave a message for all that attended. Well, I hope the students begin to understand that their academics are only part of the picture. Their skills and abilities to function in a caring adult fashion in terms of their emotional and social maturity is very important to our humanity, our empathy, our compassion is in jeopardy. We live in a world where ridicule is a sport on television. We see that our Congress is riddled with mean-spiritedness. We have to restore the heart of America, which is as important as restoring our intellectual capacities and our skills in the marketplace and the workplace. And I hope that they will walk away with a sense that as a whole human being, they need all those dimensions and must pursue them, not only for themselves, but for their children, for society in general, and not shortchange the part of us that comes from the heart.